Today, I want to talk about a company that a lot of people have been sleeping on. It's a company with a technology platform that outpaces the rest, revolutionizing the way we sleep. It wants you to know better sleep. Today, we're talking about Sleep Number. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dollars and Cents, helping you make sense of making dollars. In 1987, Robert and Joanne Walker started the Select Comfort Corporation, focusing on the emerging technology of adjustable beds. After a few years of developing the very first versions of these beds, Robert left the Comfort Air Corporation to start his own company with Joanne to focus on this next evolutionary step in bedding. However, many of the major bed manufacturers rejected this idea of the adjustable bed. Most department stores even pushed out Select Comfort's beds, favoring lower priced competitors, and it looked like the fledgling company with big ideas was doomed. Then in the 1990s, the US military became Select Comfort's biggest buyer, making up 50% of total sales. Why? because the company's beds were surprisingly economical to ship, domestically and overseas. For years, the US military would carry select comfort until Walker secured funding by venture capital funds. The company rebranded with a renewed focus on changing the way we think about sleep. Soon, in a few short years, the company's sales tripled, allowing it to rapidly expand and become one of the fastest growing companies in the 90s. And in 1999, select comfort finally went public, continuing to offer innovations and open more than 500 stores across the US. All of this would culminate in 2017 when Select Comfort released its most revolutionary product, the 360 Smart Bed, a technologically advanced bed. With its release, the company ceased to exist as the Select Comfort Corporation and officially became the Sleep Number Corporation in 2017. Now it's time to see how this technology has influenced Sleep Number's financial health. First up is revenue growth. In 2015, the company brought in $1.21 billion in revenue, while in 2020 it brought in $1.86 billion. This is quite strong revenue growth for the traditionally slow-growing betting industry. Second on the list is shares outstanding. In 2015, the company had 51.2 million shares outstanding. Five years later, it had 24.3 million shares outstanding. If you owned 5% of the company five years ago, you'd now nearly own 10% without buying a single other share. Third up is free cash flow growth. In 2015, Sleep Number had $22.3 million in free cash flow, but as of last year, that number grew more than 10 times to $240.6 million. Impressive growth line. Next is total current assets versus total current liabilities. Sleep Number has a measly $187 million in current assets against a massive $846 million in current liabilities, with only two. $1 million in cash. The large amount of liabilities may be the result of delayed payments to vendors, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, let's look at their free cash flow valuation. If we take the last five years of free cash flow at $132.6 million and multiply it by 20, we get an expected market cap of $2.65 billion. Right now, Sleep Number trades at $2.45 billion, so slightly undervalued. Not bad. Finally, let's look at Sleep Number's ROIC, and it's pretty good, almost double our 10% goal at 19.3% for the last five years. For 2020 alone, the company posted an impressive 25% return on invested capital. To cap everything off, we'll look at dividends, or lack thereof. Sleep Number doesn't actually pay any dividends, instead they opt to return capital to shareholders in the form of stock buybacks. Now, you may be asking, why would anyone invest in a company that only makes and sells beds? To that, I would say it's a lot more than just a simple bed. The biggest differentiator when it comes to this company versus virtually any other bed maker is the technology behind the bed. For years, Sleep Number poured millions into research attempting to create the perfect bed. This all culminated in the release of Sleep Number's 360 Smart Bed in 2017, equipped with the Sleep IQ platform. Running in conjunction with the 360 Smart Bed, the Sleep IQ app tracks how you sleep and automatically adjusts to help you get a better night's rest. In the morning, the app gives sleepers what the company calls a sleep number score, measuring the quality of your sleep and recommendations on how to improve your sleep. 
In general, I think this is the main argument for Sleep Number, its technology. Its product has the tech to automatically adjust softness, detect snoring, collect heart rate, and breathing data, regulate temperature depending on your preferences, and more, all to show you how to make adjustments for the best possible rest, giving you the energy in your day. Plus, foot warmers. That's all I'll say. When it comes to integrating technology and sleep in the form of a bed, Sleep Number is way ahead of the game, but it's not the only advantage. Sleep Number also has the advantage of a physical presence. Like I said, Sleep Number has more than 500 physical locations, unlike most of its competitors. In a survey conducted by Civic Science in October of 2020, 18% of people surveyed said that their next mattress purchase would happen online, up by a measly 1% pre-pandemic. But who really wants to buy a mattress online? Purely personal opinion, I'd rather go to a physical store and physically try the bed out and get a feel for what suits me best. Sleep Number has the advantage of having physical locations to try its beds. Only 14% of its sales come from online, so most is in its physical stores. And it appears, suggested by that survey, most people will go to a physical store for their next bed. And what's mind-blowing is that Sleep Number sells $1.05 million worth of bedding per square foot of these 579 US stores. Crazy. But it's still important to remember that there is competition. A lot of competition. Sleep Number's largest competitor is self-proclaimed largest mattress maker in the US, Simons, which owns brands like Serta and Beautyrest. Unfortunately, we can't really look at Simons' data, it's an incredibly secretive company. Instead, we'll look at Temper Sealy, Sleep Number's smaller competitor, which just had one monster of a year. Temper Sealy saw incredible revenue jumps and increases in pretty much all areas of operation. In 2020, Temper Sealy raked in $4 billion in revenue, which is significantly more than in previous years, but they have four times as many locations as Sleep Number and are really only twice the size. And while Temper Sealy makes and sells solidly designed beds, they just lack the technology of Sleep Number. A company that does try and tackle technological features similar to Sleep Number is 8Sleep, which offers temperature regulating beds. Another competitor to Sleep Number is Purple, and they offer technology similar to Sleep Numbers in terms of their comfort gel beds. Although again, it seems Sleep Number has them beat with the all-in-one package, with their temperature regulating and comfort gel-esque firmness regulating 360 smart bed. Really, most of Sleep Number's competitors lack the same technological advancements in sleep. Because of this difference, it almost feels wrong to compare Temper Sealy or Simons or really any other competitor to Sleep Number. All in all, I like Sleep Number as a company. It has the technology platform that keeps the company ahead of the competition and an almost Peloton-like luxury status, cementing its place as the premier quality bed maker. Yes, the competition is fierce, but Sleep Number continues to innovate, garnering a bigger market share throughout the years. So to answer the question, am I buying Sleep Number? Well, no. As I said, I love Sleep Number's business, and I think it's relatively financially stable. However, the $846 million in current liabilities is still a concern. It's an unknown for me, and that's one of the reasons I'm hesitant in buying into the company. This coupled with the fact that they're coming off of a record-breaking year. My price target for Sleep Number will still be right around $90, but I'm gonna wait a couple more years just to see the direction the company ultimately goes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go take a nap. Well, that's all I've got for you in this video about Sleep Number. What do you think of the company and their technology? Leave your thoughts on this sleeping giant in the comments below or hop onto my Discord link in the description. Until next time, I will see all of you in the next episode of Dollars and Cents.